वेलकम एवरीवन इन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ 13 सी एनएमआर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न डिस्टॉर्शनलेस एनहांसमेंट बाय पोलराइजेशन ट्रांसफर दैट इज डीईपीटी टेक्निक डीईपीटी टेक्निक इन 13 सी एनएमआर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी इट इज अ पावरफुल टेक्निक यूजिंग ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री टू इलुसाइड द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल the distortion less enhancement by polarization transfer this method is used to detect presence of primary that is ch3 secondary that is ch2 and tertiary that is ch carbon atoms in the molecule that is distinguish between primary secondary and tertiary carbon atoms in a molecule this dept experiment it is a pulsed nmr experiment which requires series of programmed radio frequency pulses to both proton and 13c nuclei in a sample the resulting 13c dept spectrum shows signals from all protonated carbons only and non protonated carbons do not give signals in the spectrum that is in dept experiment due to polarization transfer from 1h1 that is proton to 13c nucleus the signal enhancement of 13c signal takes place that effect is also known as nuclear overizer effect that is noe effect due to noe effect the signal intensity is enhanced the dept experiment differentiates between ch ch2 and ch3 groups by variation of the selection angle parameter the proton pulse is set at 45 degree 90 degree or 135 degree in three separate experiments the signals with odd number of attached protons appear oppositely phased than those with a, an even number of attached protons that is carbon carrying odd number of attached protons and carbon carrying even number of attached protons they appear in opposite phase the first experiment is dept 135 the 135 degree angle gives signals from all ch3 and ch groups point upwards that is positive peak while signals from ch2 group points downward that is negative peak and the signal of ch3 and ch that is carbon carrying odd number of hydrogen atoms and ch that is carbon carrying even number of hydrogen atoms they appear in opposite phase that is positive and negative phase the third uh, the another experiment is dept 90 the 90 degree angle gives signals from only ch groups which appear as positive peak and the others be suppressed that is signal of ch3 and ch2 will not be seen in dept 90 in dept 45 the angle 45 degree gives signals from all carbons with attached protons in positive phase and the signal from quaternary carbon and other carbons which not attached protons with not attached protons are always absent in dept that is quaternary the signal of quaternary carbon is not seen in dept again we will see in dept 135 the signal of ch3 and ch point upward that is in positive phase ch2 downwards that is negative phase in dept 90 only ch group so are seen and others are suppressed in dept 45 all carbon with attached protons they appear in positive phase except quaternary carbon and for quaternary carbon and the other carbons with no attached protons are absent in dept experiment by this diagram also we can study that the normal 13c spectra gives the signals of all carbon atoms in the molecule that is all type of carbon atoms in the molecule 
DPT45 gives the positive signals for CH, CH2, CH3. DPT90 gives the signal of only CH. DPT135 gives positive signal for CH and CH3 and the negative signal for CH2. And for all DPT experiments, the quaternary carbon that is carbon with uh, not uh, no attached protons not gives the signal in DPT. Now we see the example. This is the example. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 set of carbon atoms. The normal proton decoupled spectra gives the signals of all carbon atoms that is A, B, C, D and E. In all these carbon atoms, the E carbon type of carbon is quaternary carbon. A type of carbon it is a primary that is CH3. F is also primary. CH, CH2 and CH2. In DEPT45, the signals of all CH, CH2 and CH3 carbon atoms are seen in positive phase. The signal of E carbon atom is missing. In DEPT90, the only signal of CH carbon is seen. That is type B in positive phase. In DEPT135, the signal of A, F, that is CH3, and the B type of carbon, they, these carbons are only seen in positive phase, while the carbon atoms C and D, which are the CH2 groups, and they gives the negative signals or signals in negative phase. Thus, with the help of DPT, we can easily differentiate between CH3 group, CH2 group and CH group in the organic compound. Now we see another example. In this example also, there are different set of carbon atoms. A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. Only we have to remember the signal of CH, CH3 and CH2. In proton decoupled spectra, the signals of all carbon atoms are seen. In DEPT45, the signal of all CH, CH2 and CH3 are seen. That is signal of all carbon atoms except the carbon E. All carbon atoms are protonated carbons, therefore signals of all carbon atoms are seen except the carbon E. In case of DAPT90, only CH group carbon atoms are seen and CH group carbon atoms are here B, C and D. Such set of carbon atoms are only seen in DAPT90. In DAPT135, we get CH and CH3 up, that is carbon atoms B, C, D and H. B, C, D and H, that is the carbon and these are the CH carbon atom, that is the CH3 carbon atom and that are seen in positive phase. The CH2 carbon atom, that is carbon G and F, they gives the negative signals in DEPT135. Thus, with the help of DEPT technique, the signals obtained are like this. For quaternary carbon, no signals are seen in all three DEPT experiments. In DEPT45, it gives the positive signals for CH, CH2 and CH3. In DEPT90, it gives the signal of only CH group carbon and other carbon at the signal of other carbon atoms are suppressed or not seen. In case of DAPT135, we get the positive signal for CH and CH3 and for CH2, we get the negative signal. Thus, DAPT experiments, it is a, a very good technique to distinguish between CH3, CH2 and CH group carbon atoms. 
Thanks for watching this video.